Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Come on in. Come on in the room. First of all, welcome to Dom Divinity Tarot. I just wanted to tap on the energy a little bit and see what is to come for the week ahead in career, finance, and money. Okay, guys? So we're going to be using a couple of different decks. I'm not pretty too sure what this deck is, but it's a lot of good stuff in there. Okay. And then we're going to be using the money coming from deck. Okay. And we're going to be using this career money and finance deck as well. And then we're going to get some money gems, some affirmations, things of such. Okay. All right, so now that we've got that established, let's just jump in and see what is to come for you guys for the week ahead, okay? All right, so let me move these cards over here. We know we're gonna use them, but one at a time. All right. You can be seeing one eleven on the timer. Look that angel number up. Spirit is definitely talking to you right now. Okay, I just want to let you guys know how I do things here on Diamond Divinity Tarot. So what I do here is I allow God, Holy Spirit, my angels, my ancestors, and my spirit guides guide me as I break forward these messages for you all, okay? So now that I've gotten that established, let's just clear the energy and we're going to get started, okay? It's burning, but it's burning very slow, guys. One second. Let's get some good, good energy coming for the collective. Okay. Let's see what you all need to know. Y'all do me a favor and let me know if this message resonates with you all. Leave me a comment in the comment section. I do like to interact with all the viewers. Okay. Remember to like, share, and subscribe as well, as I will be doing more readings for, like this on a weekly basis, okay? If you become a channel member, a Diamond Divinity Gem over on the channel, then you will receive extended messages over there, okay? Just letting you guys know. But you can hit the like button. It just helps grow the channel. It also helps with the algorithm to get the message out. Let's see what you guys need to know. Career, money, and finance. Messages in the best and highest good coming forth for the collective spirit. What do they need to know? What is coming toward them for the week ahead? Career, money, and finance for the week ahead for the collective spirit. What do they need to know? Okay. What does the collective need to know? Can I get two more spirits? I get two more for the collective. Thank you. One at least. I'm gonna try for one more, guys. I'm not gonna push it up there. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, what is gonna really fulfill you? I'm getting, I'm channeling right now, guys. But what is going to really fulfill you in your career is finding your life purpose. And that's what's going to really put you on your path of righteousness and fulfillment within. However, you do have something unexpected coming up. Um, prepare for unexpected financial loss. So it could be something as simple as a car accident. So don't fret too much over that. Okay, guys, but do be careful. You know, that's just a sign from the universe. You could be seeing 432. That's letting you know just to be cautious. Sometimes, you know, we have to drive for ourselves and other people these days. So that's just what that's meaning to me. Just be a little bit more aware of your surroundings when driving. Okay. Then you have teacher. You have the ability. You have the, the ability to motivate others this is not 
written correctly, guys. Hold on one second. Let me turn this up so I can figure out how, what they really meant. Okay. You have, you have the ability to motivate others to strive to uncover their true potential. So what they're trying to say is you have the ability to motivate others in order to push them to strive for their true intentions in life as well. So that's why you have the teacher there in that position, okay? So you also have offering. The universe will meet all your needs. Put that in the comment section for me, 543 on the timer. Put that in the comment section for me. The universe will meet all my needs. That is an affirmation for you. Yes, I love it. Then you have life purpose. You will have new ideas and inspirations that will guide you to your divine calling. So pay attention to the signs and synchronicities as well because the universe is speaking to you. A lot of times we just take it as coincidence and it's not, okay? It's definitely the universe trying to tell you something. But in order for you to be fulfilled, you know, I don't really care for um, this person on a political level. But um, as far as the way that she speaks in her demeanor, Oprah said, find a career or find a job that you love doing and it won't feel like work at all. You know, that's what I'm getting out of that card, that life purpose. Find your calling. Find your calling in life and you won't even feel like you're working. You're going to enjoy it so much. Okay? That's what's coming towards you. 654 on the timer. You could be seeing those numbers as well. Look those numbers up sometimes. The universe is speaking to you, okay? And it could be just a message for you. So if you happen to remember it, put it in the comment section. Put it in the comment section. What do we need to know about career, money, and finance for the week ahead? Spirit. Or even connection. What's coming towards us for the week ahead? Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. Okay. Spiritual work. So you're being asked to work on yourself or doing some inner work can help you get clear before you move on. You will get in insights into what work will best serve your needs. See, right after life purpose comes spiritual work and then power position. You are being promoted or called to lead. Whoa, congratulations, congratulations. Time to step into your sovereignty and guide others with compassion. Wow, that is wonderful. Then you have flashback. People from the past return. You may work with a previous coworker or take back an old job. You get a second chance. So some of you will be returning back to an old job. Some of you will be receiving a call from your old employer asking you to come back because they realize that, you know, even though things may not have worked out when, when you were there because there was somebody in your energy that was hating on you because your light irritated their demons. So the spirit is telling you, continue with your spiritual work, stand in your truth, and you see what's coming towards you. You're either a power position in a new, in a new um, area of your life, even career or finance, even career or finance. But if you have a power position that's coming towards you, you're gonna be called to lead. You're gonna be either promoted at work or you're going to be receiving a windfall of money. However, it's going to put you in a power position. But be careful. Okay? We're going to get some clarifiers on this. Can I clarify, get a clarification on unexpected and spiritual work spirit? Clarification. Thank you. Ups and downs. Okay. Clarification on teacher and power position. Clarification on teacher and power position spirit. What does the collective need to know? Clarification on teacher. Did one flip up? No. It's two 
too many guys. Too many. Teacher and power position, spirit. Thank you. Good luck. Oh my goodness. No wonder why. Someone didn't want you guys to get this message, but it's coming out for you. Oh well. You might have to take baby steps, but you're definitely going to get there. Okay, Spirit said that's it. Stop there, stop there. Equal give and take, though. That was what was on the, on the top. Be open to giving and receiving to keep the flow of abundance going. Give someone a chance and ask for what your heart desires. So even, I'm here, when this position, for those who are going to be called back into the position of which you were holding before, whatever happened, just know, ask for what you're worth this time around, okay? Because I heard that you settled the first time. Don't settle. Don't shrink yourself, okay? Don't dim your light for anybody because you have, you're going to have the ups and downs. And it says your work is has potential for both advancement and stagnation. See if there's hope, but allow yourself to move on if needed, okay? So even if you do go into this power position or go back to the one position that may call you back, if you feel like it's not for you, then just work on finding somewhere else while you're still there. Spirit is saying, do not, you know, just cut your head off. You know what I mean? Don't cut your arm off despite your... I don't know what that saying is, but that's what I'm hearing. Don't cut your arm, hand off despite your arm or something something along those lines. Spirit is not making it clear. It's, it's coming too fast. Sorry, guys. I'm channeling right now. So you have good luck coming. Your fortune is improving and you will get a lucky break soon. Collect nuggets of wisdom. You will need them in the near future. So like I said, you may have to do your spiritual work and it's going to give you insight on how to maintain this power position and this fortune that's coming towards you. That's what Spirit said. Once you do your spiritual work, it's gonna give you an insight on how to maintain it. Because a lot of people ask for it, manifest it, and you know, magic and spells and things like that. But just know, do your work. One, two, three, four, that's the way that you're supposed to be going, Spirit said. That's one, two, three, four, means you're moving in the right direction, okay? And right behind it says taking steps. See, you're going in the right direction. You're definitely going in the right direction. So action is key to getting where you need to go. You can't wait around. Take a step in any direction to get unstuck and find opportunities. So regardless of what you do, you got to make a move. Spirit is saying you have to move. It's cultivation time, okay? You are in the growth phase right now. And you must continue to water the seeds you have planted in order to reap the rewards okay you could be seeing 13 13 that was just on the timer but don't be afraid of what what is to come with the unexpected just under understand that spirit is telling you to be aware of your surroundings be a little bit more cautious when driving make sure you are buckled up and you know you'll be fine that's what i'm hearing it's just more so being aware of what's what's around you okay so just make sure you're paying attention to what's around you. All right, we're going to see what's coming ahead of, you, ahead of you in career and finance with this deck. And we're going to get your money, Jim. We're going to close this out, guys. I thank you for your time and your energy and any donations. Take a look around. We'd love to have you as a channel member. And like I said, there will, will be special perks for channel memberships. There will be extended readings over there, guys. And not just in career and finance. There will be like divine feminine, divine masculine, extended soulmates, whatever comes out the month ahead. Things like that. Weekly forecast. Collective, what do they need to know? Career and finance. Spirit, what do they need to know? The week ahead. And look ahead. So something pop up, guys. Maybe I passed it. Maybe it didn't flip up. Okay. 
Okay. Maybe I thought it did. And he ain't your eyes playing tricks on you. Okay, so you got one so far. Anything else, Spirit? For the week ahead. Thank you. So, those of you, and then you got multitasking. So, some of you are going to be going into a position where you are going to be working from home. You're going to have to multitask, okay? See right underneath of it? Look, y'all see me lifting it up, right? I'm bringing it very, very slow. <laughs> what does it say right underneath of it? Working from home. I'm tapped in, guys. I'm just channeling for you all. So, I'm just letting you know. That is what is to come for a lot of you. The new position that is coming towards you that's going to cause you to multitask. Work, you're going to be working from home. However, Spirit is telling you that you may need to fix your credit up for this position. Okay? You may need some credit repair for this position. You may need a clearance or something of that nature. And it's going to be in entry level 16 16 on the timer. Yes. But it's definitely an interview coming up very soon. Spirit, tell me kept going and now stop. Okay. And I read what's on the table. So, regardless of whichever position you do choose, if you're going in a different power position, congratulations again, like I said. And those who are returning back, you're going to need to negotiate, like I said, negotiate your worth. Regardless of where you're going, negotiate your worth, know your worth. Okay. Don't settle. Just because someone says we're hiring, you know, it's going to be a whole lot of that a lot lately. You're going to see a whole lot of it. But be careful of the scams. Spirit said, be careful of the scams. Anything that needs you to buy any equipment or anything like that, don't do it. Allow whatever to provide the equipment that you need. And just do that. But pay attention to your deadlines, okay? Pay attention to your deadlines. Whatever you have that's coming up, just pay attention to them and, and take heed. With the, we're hiring. Because that's what Spirit is telling me. Um, if you are looking for something, be careful with the closing date on that job description or that job closing whenever the last day they're going to be receiving applications, okay? So do that early part of the week. If you are in the job market, make sure you watch those deadlines for the submission for your resume and your application for employment, Okay. All right, you have remember to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. So what we're going to do is grab three. We're going to see what they are. Whether they're affirmations, money gems, or... I don't know what was the last one. I'm sorry, guys. I can't think of it. This Mercury retrograde is really messing with me. If you're having any communication issues, technological issues, anything of those natures, then that is the, re this is Mercury retrograde. That's the reason why electronic issues, anything of that nature. Okay, this is not working like this, guys, because they're so huge. These cards are huge, as you can see. So I'll have to split the deck a little bit. Career advice, money advice for the collective for the week to come spirit. Thank you. Practice, that's what it was. Last one was practice, guys. Money gem, affirmation, or money practice that spirit wants you to do. Let's see. One more. Thank you. Yep, you got one each. Awesome. Okay. So, your, your money gem knowledge from Dama Divinity Tarot will be time is the most important currency. Where you spend your time can determine the flow of your money. All right? And Spirit wants you to practice getting familiar with the type of wealth you would like to attract. Write a check to yourself for the dollar amount you wish to receive. Okay? So, write the dollar amount. I seen one. I seen one nine five four, and that number resonates with me. So, 
Spirit is saying, write a check to yourself in the amount of money in which you would like to be worth, your net worth. Write yourself a check and hold on to it. What you're going to do is manifest that into fruition, okay? You could be seeing 2020, but your affirmation is going to be, I enjoy what I have and I have more than enough. I enjoy what I have and I have more than enough. Put that in the comment section for me. Now what you're going to do is repeat that affirmation every day and watch how the universe brings that into fruition for you. Okay? You're going to enjoy the money that you already do have but the abundance that's coming in behind it is what's going to be amazing. All right, guys. I thank you so much once again for your time, your energy, and your space. Any donations that you do wish to um, fulfill, they are greatly appreciated. And I just want to make sure that I reiterate that I do thank you guys for being here. Um, you could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. And I do appreciate you all. So just... Remember to leave me a comment and let me know if anything changes for you this week, but just stay at it, okay? Continuously say your affirmations, do your daily practice, getting familiar with wealth, you know, like be around the money that you would like to attract, you know, but also write that check out. Write that check out and keep it with you at all times, okay? And just know that time is the most important currency, okay? And wherever you spend your time, what they say. Time is money, right? All right, guys. All right, until next week, and thank you again, and I'll see you next time. All right? Remember to like, share, and subscribe if this message resonates with you. Thank you. Bye.